since I told myself that I'm just ready to go and let go of everything, that's of course when all the commissions have come in. So last night I'm sat at home drawing, just colouring stuff in, ready to be sent off the next day. And then I get a message from somebody here in Dorset, this massive commission complete covering all walls of his garage. He sent me some photos over and I got a rough idea of what it was he was looking for. But if you know me by now and how I work, I just like to go see the person. Because that way you could actually connect with somebody. And by doing so you can find out exactly what it is they want or what would fit them and their personality. Area, but I'm trying to find the actual location because in an industrial estate and sometimes they can be really tricky to find. When walking in it was amazing to see the size of this place. This is the main wall that we are going to be painting today and seeming as this place deals with auto electrics I feel it would just be right to have a theme where we heavily incorporate electricity. But he is going to give us complete access to do whatever we like in that space and as you've seen this space is not small. Giving an artist complete reign to express their style is one of the best things you can do as a client because it is sure that you're going to end up with an amazing result as the artist can now do what it is they want to do best. I have a few concepts I've got to play with um, tonight when I get back, draw up a few ideas but the main challenge is to make sure we can do a congruent design throughout the whole area making sure it all ties in and just looks like one solid piece. So right now I'm on my way to go get all this hair cut off and look trim. And I'm excited to see what we come up with later. The design part all done and we are back here to get this up on the wall. At first I think I'm going to start off with Ryu and put him on the left corner of the wall and have my letters scrolling across to fill up the majority of the wall with a character on the right side so the whole thing is pulled together. And I am kind of have the idea of adding a lot of electric for the whole thing to electric so it makes a lot of sense and ties with the business and also just pulling off that electric effect with the graffiti cans is a super super cool effect. When layering in the fresh colours I like to work section by section instead of the entire design in one go. And whilst working on the face, the guys next door at Tech Autos invited me to come have a look at their workshop. The original 60s race car, so when Shelby first built them, this is what he built and this is what he was racing. So this looks like a 1965 engine, but that's a brand new engine. Now I don't know a lot about cars but I appreciate the guys next door showing me around their workshop. It was super cool to see what they had going on and cool of them for letting me share it with you guys. I just want to show you guys something that I've been playing with recently when it comes down to character design. If you can see here, a lot of it is a lot of brown tones in the face, but as a cool little trick if you want to know, is I'm starting to add a lot of pink in the nose and pink in the ears and also in the cheeks a tiny bit. I just feel like adding that extra layer of colour gives that extra fin finesse, would you say, to the piece. And now is the time you've all been waiting for, time to give it some <laughs> This is the 
first quarter of the wall done. We have Ryo here, completed, finished with all the electric just shooting through the whole wall. Now we have to move on to the letters and from there we can move on to the enemy he'll be fighting today on the right side. The cool thing about letters is the fact that they stretch along. So when you do have big walls or a big commission, having letters incorporated if the wall is smaller and longer really helps to fill in that space to connect the whole wall together. Um, but trust me they also take a lot of lot of work and if you're an artist out there and a creative i don't know who this goes to but i just want to let you know just to keep going because sometimes when you're drawing it can be hard to keep that motivation alive but just have faith in the process and if you turn up every day just doing your art and creating one day you will finally get to the place you want to get to that being said i think it's time that we now move on to the final character So my goal with this Kuma character is just to aim for the most ugliest thing I can create. Mean and ugly so it looks super evil. And this is the cool thing when you start to establish a style, because you can take something someone else drew, like Pokemon or Street Fighter, get your style, jam it on the back and create a complete new vision. We have the Akuma character down, it's now time to add the electrics. The cool thing about adding things like electric or having something that has sort of a cool flair to it is it acts more as an effect. So after you've done your whole piece and it looks cool, you then go over it again but add all the effects and the whole piece just pops alive. completed for today and I'll be lying if I didn't tell you guys that this piece really took it out of me doing both two full color characters with the piece in the middle no easy task but anyway I'll stop going on and I'll let you guys see the final result you to attack with this wall. Anyway, before I leave, I need to say a massive thank you to all electrics for making this wall happen. I'll leave a link to their socials down below. And also a massive thank you to everybody on the Patreon team. 
without you guys, I would not be able to have the time to edit and create these videos to put out to everyone on YouTube. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. For the next wall we paint, I'll see you then. So stay well, keep creating, peace.